Hi, good morning, Nana here. And then uh, now I'm going to give you uh, what happens, how to create a user in release 12 of Fusion applications. Uh, I'm struggling for the past four, four hours in fact, and then I finally got it about how to do that now. Right. I will now share my knowledge of how to create a users in uh, release 12. Right. Now see, uh, release 12 of Fusion. So let me go and then share my screen now. And will go there and share my screen. Have a look at it now. <clears throat> so I'm now sharing my screen now. And have a look at it. So now let me go and then log in. I'm into release 12 now of Fusion. So let us go there. And then J25 underscore <clears throat> EMP1. So it was already created in release 11 now. This particular user was created in release 11. And then what happens now? I go there and then I will now go to the security console of this. I click on it. So click on this. Uh, what happens here? Navigate icon on the left hand side top. And then here go there. And then go to the security console. Right. You go there. And then click on what tools on the security console. <clears throat> uh, click on the more now, click on the more, and then go to tools, and then go to security console. So when I go to the security console, what happens, you'll not find that what happens, the user creation is not there. So you'll not find that the user will not be there at all. You have got the roles as well as what happens, you have got the certificates, the user is not there. So the user is basically guided by IT security manager. But unfortunately, what happens, IT security manager is not, is actually is not exactly coming as such. And because of which, what happens, the user is not coming. So let us go and then query your IT security manager. And go there. And then let us query. And so IT security manager. IT security manager. <clears throat> so I go there. And then we have this already. FND role is already there. So I tried this one. I succeeded. Right? We have got two IC security manager. So this is already done in release 11 itself. And then here, what happens, this was not done. So I checked for this now, which is starting in Vora now. Fine. You go to IT security manager of Vora, I click on it now. You'll not find it now. So go there and then query for it. And then here, what happens? I went and then I click on this drop down on the left hand side. You can drop down and click on edit roles. And then here, I'm going to add a user. Fine. Now it is in the role editing process. I go to the users directly. And remember, some of the standard roles we cannot add a user at all. Fine. But this is allowing you the Vora IT security manager is allowing you to add the user. I click on add user now. So I'm going to add the user now. So you go there, I will now add it, fine, J25, <clears throat> fine, J25 uh, underscore, fine, I will now say EMP1. I'm going to use EMP1. So J25, I'm going to EMP1, I'm going to add user to the role. So I'm adding it now. So the user was added to the role, that's it. And then run the, uh, what happens, your, uh, this thing, fine. You run the LDAP now. <clears throat> so it's so simple now, if I click on it, cancel it, and then click on next. I have to submit it now, if I click on next. After having added this role, J25 EMP1, so click on next now, <clears throat> you go to the next. And then click on save and close by which what happens. This IT security manager Vora is now added. That is responsible for users now. Fine. That is responsible for users now. Now what happens? We'll now go and then run this LDAP now. Go there and then run the LDAP. Click on more. And then here, what happens? Go to the schedule process. <clears throat> and then let me submit a new content. Fine. Let us click on it. You go there and then LDAP. Fine. Retrieve LDAP. So retrieve that. So let me run it now. So upon completion of this, what happens? You cannot see that this user will be having this. This user will be having a user creation on system actually. So we need that Vora IT Vora we need these Vora's. So go away and then set this on. It's not running. So let us wait for some time. <clears throat> It's not coming as blocked, but what happens? It runs automatically. I don't know why it's blocked. It's coming as blocked. And then let me log out and then see. Fine. And log out and then see. And log out, sign out and then sign in. <clears throat> so we're going to have a look at it. If I click on confirm and then come out now. So let me again log in with my one. So put my password over here and then click on sign in now. Now let us go to the security management, click on this icon and then go to the tools and then go to security management, click on it and then go to the more here <clears throat> and then go to the security console. So click on the security console. Vandichi, <clears throat> we got it. So the users are going to go there. So this is the way what happens that we have to uh, enable the users for this. This security, security manager of Vora is required. Again, I will not remember you. Fine. You have to go and modify the rule. I will compare this fine. IT secure. You go there and then compare it to 
on this one you query not on the first one fine i was again and again doing on the first one is not coming but what happens again ora and it is already manager ora and click on it and then here if you go the, go on and query for this one and it will be coming on the return side here what happens you drop down and then click on edit and click on edit tool and then add your user now and you go to the users level find directly go to the user level the intermediate level is not required go to the users and then add user click on add user and then click on next next and then save and close by which what happens it gets added so this is the way what happens we can add the user creation on what happens security console and then one more uh, modification has been done here let me go and see something go there so if you go there and see this now <coughs> you go to the fusion procurement and then here if you go there and then see this now fine here catalog categories this is a very big topic in uh, here, what happens uh, both the places now fine if you see so to create catalogs and categories we have to go and then create the value sets and values here and then afterwards what happens we have to create the key flux fields for catalog catalogs and then we have to create a catalog over here in the third step and then finally assign the default catalog over here so it's a very cumbersome process in uh, what happens release level and then they've been simplified beautifully it has been nicely simplified i'll show you but how it's been done all the four process has been coupled to only one process all the four process has been coupled to only process as far as catalogs and categories is concerned and go there i don't know cancel it and then show it to you now how it has been done now if i go there you click on the navigation you name and then click on the setup and entrance here what happens you go to manage functional catalogs so go there manage percentage pncd percentage catalog percentage entry so manage functional catalogs one so click manage functional area for catalogs is the one over there so here itself what happens we are going to define the default catalogs for every area actually fine go there so inventory is already having one catalog name so what happens it will never allow you to create any one catalog so what happens there are some other eight attributes which are big, uh, which are controlled by the item attribute now fine if you go there you cannot see that what happens we will be having uh, inventory extracts to go there open it up it's for a uh, r12 actually and the document which i am going to open up is for r12 now <coughs> let me open it up now inventory extracts yeah it was so this is for r12 so is also similar like uh, infusion also so inventory item fine if inventory item is on what about the functional area attribute is not on similarly purchasing it has got two functional areas one is purchased and then one is internal order item and then one is for ms mrf planning one for costing one for engineering and then one for what about the order management and then one for service so these are the seven functional areas in fusion it has now become eight actually right so eight functional areas are represented by an item attribute now item attribute and then whenever they are on what happens that particular area is becoming on and then whenever that area is on we can get only one catalog we can only create one one catalog and there is one so here what happens you can only create one catalog so the plus number is gone similarly for purchasing what happens is already created we can only create one catalog no plus number so similarly on the planning fine like what you want right but a area which is not controlled by let us say a functional at your attribute we can create it you can go to the contracts so let me create a catalog now then go there this catalog four is there so i will not click on plus now i'm going to create a new one catalog category creation is so simple in the release tool now right beautifully done it is now jujubee fine we can do it very easily so click on the plus symbol and then i am going to create a catalog for the contracts area now it is not defined by any item attributes now i will say catalog underscore five so i am going to take a copy of it and then give the code and then give the description and that's it and then create a category also fine so <clears throat> i will now say category underscore five so i am creating a category so i give it a simple name and then give it a and paste it and then go there all of that that's it the catalog category combination is now created and then it is always assigned to one of the, only the item levels fine what is so in the previous release they have made a mistake that it can be assigned to multiple levels but it is what happens it is it is how it has to be so they have corrected that mistake so restrict category to item assignments only fine what is click on save and continue by which whatever the new catalog will become as a default catalog for contracts area so we'll come there fine click on save and close so once when you save and close that will be coming so this is for non attribute functional areas now it shows you this now fine the catalog is fine is coming and then category is coming if you want to get new category you click on plus and then keep on creating it any category can be created and then give it okay category name category code and description and then the catalog category hierarchy has been pushed only to a uh, self service procurement previously what happens they have made it for purchasing also fine it is no more available for purchasing that is the correct one there is no meaning in having a catalog category in what happens your uh, what happens in purchasing manage percentage catalog percentage fine so category percentage manage catalog category so this is one so this hierarchy is available only for i system service people so we have a hierarchy of this now fine we have a root category below which what about we'll be having multiple browsing categories and then finally what about we'll be having item categories of this
So in AEBUS, what happens? You can know, this, this is the item category. So this can be even moved to some other, let us say, I want to move it to test now. And again, we will move it now. Fine, test is not there. So V2 modem, I want to move it now. Fine, click on the move now. Click on the move icon and then move it to test now. So go there, drop down, and then choose the test now. And then you tap. So it will be coming. So it is again below, below the root now. And so what happens is now move below test. And you can see it now. The modem has come here. So we can move the things, the browsing categories and item categories to any level on this one. And this will be used only by the what's called I procurement, self service procurement and fusion now. So these are some modifications. And then uh, what happens? Some more things are also changed. And then uh, we are still uh, doing an RD. Others. Now, user creation has been identified. Fine. How to create a user in release 12 that has been identified. So thanks for watching. And then if you have any doubts, you can even write to me at nana.app60 at gmail.com. I will now clarify all the doubts. I am even conducting the training on fusion procurement. Fine. Please. Uh, uh, what happens? Uh, I will be conducting it from a practical perspective from my implementation knowledge and so what happens. It will be very practical and then you will be learning fully about how to implement a product on fusion procurement actually. So thanks for watching and then bye and then see you in the next video. <clears throat>